<laughs> like, <laughs> you, I mean, just an exhaust system, it sounds truly exotic. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I'm blown away by the results. It's uh, amazing, amazing. Back into quiet mode. Too. Yes, back into quiet mode. So during uh, Top Marks, the police are super hot on. Uh, although we are the other side of town, we're in the uh, Fonvier. Uh, which is uh, a little bit quieter in terms of spotter and police presence. For sure. But the other side, we have to like close valves and cruise around yeah. because it's like on the spot, 300 euro fine if, uh, if they deem you to be a douchebag. They tried to take <laughs> Tony from Goldwood's car, didn't they? They tried to take his car. We're seizing your car. And oh it dear. Like, it wasn't me, bro. And they're like, oh, okay, cool, <laughs> Okay, be gone with you. Yeah. Uh, last year, um, there was someone driving an Aventador with a, a Caprice Aventador behind yes, them. Yes. The, the Aventador in front was cruising and chilling. The Aventador behind was going mad, and the guy in front got a fine yes. for doing nothing Sad. at all. Sad. Anyway, we are on the hunt uh, for a Carrera GT. Oh, I know, wow. I know, I know. I know, a nice I know, surprise. I know. Um, we. I've been told there's one out, and I believe uh, Seb knows it, oh. so uh, we're going to go cool. down and see oh. what's what. Well, it's all, oh, the, all the cars are out tonight. So these cars are like 10, 10 years old, 12 years old? Honestly, hand on heart, I'd sooner a Carrera GT than a 918. I know, big, bold statement. Just look at it. Also, Le Mans V10 engine. And this would be the spec. If I just so happened to have a spare 600,000 pounds lying around, this would be exact. Look at this, it's the details that you don't normally see. The flare on this is absolutely stunning. Now, this stand-up vertical wing is a little bit old school, granted, but this naturally aspirated V10 and tan in leather interior. Oh, good God, I'm going weak at the knees. Fun fact, the Carrera GT gear knob is made of birch and ash. You see that there? Now, it might at first just look like that's a luxury touch, but it's actually a heart back to the Porsche 917 race car. Um, little details like this are just subtle nods and reminders for just how serious Porsche took this car. I don't know what's happened to me. It's only in the last sort of few, I would say the last 12 months, I think that these have really started to appeal to me. I don't know why it's taken me that long. I think it's an era where everything's starting to go turbocharged and you then start seeking out the ultimate of what was the most fabulous and exotic version of these cars. The sound of these is next level. Uh, I mean, even from stock, they sound fantastic, but with a little bit of modification and tweaking, truly breathtaking. Other fun fact, you might have noticed that on the passenger side, the wheel, central locking wheel nuts are blue, and on the driver's side, they are red. Reason being, Porsche color coded these to uh, make sure that there was no mistake as to which side the hub nuts go on. Sounds trivial, but it's quite important on these cars in particular, uh, because one side has right-handed threads, and the other side has left-handed threads. It's, <laughs> the attention to detail is so crazy. But I love these small facts and figures about this car. It just adds up to make it such a special experience. Not so fun fact. New windscreen, 6,000 pounds. New clutch, 15,000 pounds. And the mother of all, the 30,000 mile service, 25,000 pounds.
Yeah. How decadent is Monaco? Oh, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> the tarmac looks like it's from NSL. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the most glittery tarmac. Look at that. Look at how sparkly it's it is. <laughs> so come on, true thoughts on the Carrera GT. I know you're a bit of a Ferrari diehard. <laughs> so I guess from that you era... You're so obsessed come on, with it. Come on, talk to me, yeah, talk to me. You, what I love is that you're talking about it now, like it's literally been launched at Geneva and like you do the first ones that you're seeing. I was just like, saying that. What about the Carrera GT? I'm like, dude, it's been out for a while. Like 12 years. It's well known for being pretty sick. I was just saying that. Yeah. I was like, I don't know why it's taken me so long to acknowledge this. My only thought is it's because everything's going turbocharged. Maybe. And in my opinion, that is one of the greatest naturally aspirated engines ever. It's an analog classic. Absolutely, sure. exactly. Oh yeah, don't get me wrong, amazing. I th my only thing is, I think it's like helicopters. Everyone who flies a helicopter dies. Everyone who drives a Carrera <laughs> GT also seems to die. <laughs> So next stop, let's uh, take a break from spotting and go and grab some, some fast pizza. Din din. This has got to be the coolest menu I have ever seen. Behold! <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> Enjoy <Russia>. it! Amazing! <laughs> Braking assistance, four grand. Sage motor and fibre carbon, 6,480 euros. Carbon slats, basically 6,500 pounds. Cheap. Couture coloré, 840 euros. Stitching, 800. Just what was exactly what we said earlier. Jante noir brillant, 1,200 euros. Sick rims, 1,200 euros. Pinture Arancio Atlas. I know what that one is. That's orange paint. Orange paint for grand. <laughs> wow. Italian style. That is cool. In general, you're right. Can you, uh, can you How cool is that? option to not have the Italian style? <laughs> I think it's paint, you know? Okay. Beautiful. Really? Yeah, it looks wicked. Whoa. Wow. That's, That's sick. That's just sick. sick. Like a. Oh. Behold the maddest interior of the year. <laughs> that is right. so Thank cool. You. Did you know and what? Arrive another car in April. Certainly on paper, the Puffamante has the main use of it. Sam, what's happening up front? This is Top Marks. We are this chasing an LaFerrari. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Top Marks is all about. I have, honestly, I've missed this. Like, honestly, it's nice. The hunt is so cool, exciting. right? It's so exciting. It's so yeah. good. It's the scene fun. tonight is strong. Rob. What is he doing? He just tried to drift. He did. He, he legitimately just tried to drift. He did, didn't he? He did. Around, around. He did. Wow. Okay, yeah. What fully been matters is LaFerrari. We don't know for sure To be fair. But he legitimately just tried to drift around <laughs> around about. I mean, cool, mate. Cool, that's so casual. What is he oh, doing? Oh, oh. James! Is, is it him? We need There's no content. way. There's no okay. way it's him. I'll slow down in case it's him. I mean, that was ridiculous. Or do you think it's the valet? I reckon it's the valet. If it's the valet, what a hero. I mean, he legitimately had a little drifty squirm on. Oh, 
Okay, one last take of the Fairmont Happen before we go home. <laughs> As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Go!